To make it in the animal kingdom, you have to be tough. Really tough. From withstanding gnarly climates to fending off ferocious predators, surviving in the wild is no small feat. But a few amazing creatures have developed some interesting traits and habits to stay in the game. You have to see it to believe it. 20 Animals Who Did Things and Surprised Everyone A Giraffe Saying Goodbye this heartwarming and emotional incident took place between a dying zoo worker and a giraffe. In March 2014, Mario, a 54-year-old maintenance worker in the Netherlands, was diagnosed with terminal cancer. He had worked in a Rotterdam Zoo for 25 years and had formed a strong bond with the animals. In the days leading up to his death, Mario requested to say goodbye to the giraffes, and the management at the zoo allowed him to do so. With the help of a wheeled bed, he was taken to the giraffe's enclosure. One of the giraffes immediately recognized him and bent down to give him a tender kiss through the bars. It was an emotional moment that left people in tears and it went viral on social media. What makes this incident even more remarkable is that giraffes are not known to be very affectionate with humans. According to Keyes Veldboer, founder of the Ambulance Wish Foundation, which took Mario to the zoo, the animals recognized Mario and sensed things weren't going well with him. This shows that Mario had an incredible bond with the animals. It was a very special moment, and Mario was beaming. He was also taken to say goodbye to his colleagues at the zoo, with whom he spent the vast majority of his life working. It was really lovely that the Ambulance Wish Foundation could fulfill Mario's last wish. It's rumored that after he passed away, the Rotterdam Zoo named a giraffe after him and in the enclosure, a plaque was mounted in memory of the beloved zookeeper. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. Something big is happening right now as thousands of animals are acting strange. Mayflies in Ohio recently swarmed Port Clinton in an epidemic natural fashion. The swarms off the lake were so thick that weather detectors actually detected them on the radar. So what do the locals in Port Clinton do when this natural phenomenon happens? They just deal with the plague. Some families turn off lights at night so as to not attract more bugs to their homes. Like snow, some people have to use brooms to remove them from their vehicles before the morning commute. The little bugs are harmless other than that, and their bodies contain only an oily substance that makes things slippery, especially after the rain. With thousands of them on roads and walkways, you can slip on the bodies of these creatures just trying to get to your car. The city of Port Clinton has gained approval from authorities for the very first mayfly composting site in America because they only live for 24 to 74 hours in this flying form. What a mess! Leave a comment below using hashtag sweet topic. Chimpanzees react to his reflection. Animals have eyes too, you know. They can recognize themselves in the mirror, especially monkeys. And who knew that this ability to recognize oneself in the mirror is an actual thing? It's called self-recognition. It's an advanced cognitive skill that only a few animals possess. It's closely related to higher brain functions such as consciousness, empathy, and even the ability to lie. Chimpanzees, dolphins, and magpies are capable of having this ability and can maximize it if they're being taught. In 1970, an experiment was conducted by a psychologist called Gordon Gallup. He painted an odorless, non-irritating red dye on the forehead of several chimpanzees and then placed them in front of a mirror. The goal was to see if the chimps would recognize themselves in the mirror and try to remove the dot on their own forehead. Surprisingly, they did. This pioneering experiment transformed our understanding of animal cognition and proved the chimpanzees possess self-recognition skills just like us. Recent studies have even shown that chimps are not the only animals capable of self-recognition. Other animals such as elephants, dolphins, magpies, and even ants have also demonstrated this skill. In this video, we can see the chimpanzees admiring itself in the mirror. It's doing exactly what we would do when we stare at our reflections. It's checking out its eyes, picking its nose, admiring its beauty. It's just wonderful to watch. Cow licking its finger to count money. This cow has been around for a long time, and it's either his owner counts money all the time, the cow has been trained to do so, or the cow just has a thing for licking people's hands when they need them to. Now, many traditions and cultures believe that cows are holy creatures. Some even believe that cows possess a nose for money. 
In the Hindu scriptures, for instance, cows are esteemed as divine beings. So, according to this belief, when a cow licks your fingers, it brings good fortune and prosperity. But there's no proof that this works, no scientific evidence to back up the theory. Cows are natural explorers. They have the natural tendency to go around scrutinizing objects with their tongues. It's not so unusual that they can lick hands and even money, especially when the finger was placed directly in front of the cow. The cow must have been like, uh, what do I do now? Lick it? Oh well. And it went ahead and did so. Although it might not be a religious or supernatural thing, it's spectacular to witness the cow paying rapt attention to the money as though it was a salary. Maybe it was. We'll never know. A dog rescued a fish. You've seen a lot of rescue missions. You've watched them on TV. You've heard about them. People have rescued wandering animals and victims of wars and natural disasters. It's always so beautiful to watch. And now we'll be talking about this heartwarming moment when an animal came through for another. The video went viral of a cat trying to save a little goldfish that had fallen out of the little pond. He tried and tried, but he couldn't grasp the little fish in his mouth. The bigger dog came around and, without any hesitation, picked up the fish and put it back in the water. The dog did it so casually that you'll think it was a daily routine. The video shows the dog carefully picking up the fish from the ground with his mouth and dropping it back into the container with water. Now we know why dogs are the most lovable animals in the world. There's also another video shared on Twitter by former NBA player Rex Chapman. It's a 25 second long clip showing a golden retriever picking up a goldfish lying on the floor to put it back in the fishbowl. It repeats the process for the second fish too, to save their lives. The dog also checks if the fish are doing fine by putting its mouth into the water. Not all heroes wear capes. Some of them bark and have fur for skin. Not all humanitarians walk on twos. Some of them walk on fours. So a big shout out to these dogs for saving the day. The video went viral across the internet and viewers responded with an overflow of love and appreciation for the dog's heroic act. The dog was praised for showing empathy and for taking the initiative to help the fish. We mean, why not? It deserves all the accolades. A cheeky monkey stole the phone. We've heard and seen videos of monkeys hijacking the phones of visitors at the zoo, and we've speculated about what the monkeys do with the phones. Do they take selfies, call their long-distance partner, scroll on Twitter, Netflix and chill? Well, this video gives us some answers. When a monkey steals a phone, it tries to eat it. More than once, the monkey attempts to chew on the phone. Uh, hello, that's not a banana. Secondly, the monkey begins to ask himself this question, is this device of value to me? The primate looks like it's regretting its actions or contemplating the next step to take. The device seems useless and our fellow monkeys aren't the least interested. What to do now? Next, he stares at onlookers and is like, what are you going to do, huh? This is evident in the way the monkey stares at the camera. Finally, it accepts its fate. The phone now belonged to him. He had to hold it close, take it everywhere and keep it safe like a treasure box. Sadly, the universe didn't like this idea and the phone slipped away from the hands of the monkey and cracked. Poor monkey. It lost the phone before figuring out just how wonderful it was. Maybe he'd have gone on to be the first monkey to create a Twitter or Facebook account. Here's some advice. If you're visiting a zoo, guard your belongings. These animals are very interested in shopping for new stuff. And to their dismay, there's no shopping complex or mall in captivity. A dog helping the cat to cross the fence. Who said cats and dogs cannot live together in peace and harmony? Mr. Wu, the owner who recorded the scene, told the press that his pets had a love and hate friendship as they loved playing together but also annoyed each other sometimes. Dogs are pretty nice. We've seen one helping fish. And now there's one helping a cat. Although some people think the dog is sabotaging the cat's attempt to climb the fence, it looks to us like the dog is assisting the cat. You can literally see the dog trying to lift the cat over the fence. Most people believe that dogs and cats share a typical mutual hate relationship, but the truth is far from that. Cats and dogs don't naturally hate each other, but they have different temperaments. Both animals also differ in how they're trained. Dogs are trained to chase and hunt when they play, but cats tend to perceive it as a threat. The resulting car chase makes us feel like they hate themselves when it's just a dangerous tag game. When dogs were first domesticated, many were bred to hunt small, hairy animals. When a dog sees a cat running away from him, the first instinct is to chase it. 
This will definitely cause cats to be afraid of dogs. We don't know why the owner put the fence at the base of the stairs. Maybe there's a baby in the house, or the owner doesn't want the pets going up. If it's the latter, the fence is 100% effective because not even two generational enemies working together can get one of them past it. Anyways, it's nice to watch the dog help. A duck teasing the tiger. It's an incredible display of animal behavior that captured the attention of netizens worldwide. The duck said, I can do this all day, you'll never catch me. We can watch this video all day. The duck is such a trickster. At first, the duck appears to be in grave danger. After all, tigers are known for being fearsome predators who can easily overpower any creature in their path. However, this particular duck seems to know just how to get under the tiger's skin. The duck basically starts to duck down into the pond, darting in and out of the tiger's reach with ease. The tiger tries to swipe at the bird and even lunges forward to try to catch it, but the duck always manages to stay just out of reach. We may have just found the smartest duck in history. The duck instinctively dives underwater leaving Tiger stunned, not knowing where to look for prey. The duck reappears, but not where the tiger expects it. It becomes an endless chase, and as we watch the video, it becomes clear that the duck is actually enjoying this game of cat and mouse. The bird seems to be intentionally making fun of the tiger and has no intention of being caught. We don't get to see how the chase ends, but our guess is that the tiger gives up and the duck walks away unscathed and the tiger would just stand there confused and bewildered wondering what on earth just happened. He definitely not been telling his friends about his failed attempt. They tease him for days, weeks even. A baby elephant cuddling a man. The baby elephant just wanted a cuddle. It's heartwarming to see this gentle giant show affection towards its human friend, although the friend doesn't seem to reciprocate the same energy. The video starts with the man standing outside surrounded by tall trees and shrubs. It's a beautiful day and the sun is shining bright. Suddenly, we see the baby elephant coming towards the man. The baby elephant is so cute and innocent and it appears to be curious about the man. The man starts to pet the elephant and it instantly develops a bond. The man probably works there. The baby elephant cuddles with the man as if it's his own mother. It's such a heartwarming sight to see how much the baby elephant trusts the man. The elephant starts to get a bit playful and almost falls onto the man. The man holds onto the elephant tightly, and it's clear that they both care for each other deeply. This video is a great reminder of how beautiful and loving animals can be. This is evidence that no matter how big or small an animal is, it deserves and can show love and affection. If you own a pet that likes to cuddle, you'll know just how amazing it feels for an animal to trust you. You can only achieve this if you care for the animal and treat it with respect and kindness. That's definitely what this man does. We'd love to be hugged by an elephant. It'd be pretty comforting to wrap our arms around its gigantic body. A clever crow uses physics to get his food. This crow was perched on the windowsill during physics class. How else will you explain its understanding of water displacement? How does the crow know the bricks will bring the food up? Someone give this crow a scholarship to Harvard. Apparently, crows are very intelligent birds. They have big brains compared to their body size and are as smart as a seven-year-old. They can recognize faces. And guess what? They drop nuts on the road for cars to crack and then pick them up with the safety of pedestrian lights. Someone in the comments said that they'd seen a crow dip a chunk of dry bread in a pond to soften it up. Not only are they smart, but they're also quick learners and good observers. They can keep track of their relationships with people. When you shoo away a crow, it makes a mental note of the experience and may get its revenge one day. They've been observed using tools in the wild, like sticks and rocks to obtain food. This video, however, shows a crow using a more complex method to get its food. The experiment involves placing a piece of food in a tube that's too narrow for the crow's beak to fit through. But the crow doesn't give up. It picks up heavy bricks with its beak and uses them to pull the food out of the tube. This shows that the crow not only has problem-solving skills, but also understands the concept of cause and effect. It knew that by throwing the bricks into the tube of water, the food would be easier to reach. Monkey smashed the glass using a stone. We can't say for sure, but our guess is that this monkey was one of the monkeys on the planet of the apes. You'll soon see why. In a Chinese zoo, visitors witnessed something that made their jaws drop. A monkey that was kept in an enclosure at the Wuhan Zoo managed to smash a thick pane of glass using a sharpened stone. Here's what happened. 
The monkey found the sharp object while digging through the ground of its habitat. It sharpened the stone against the wall until it developed a sharp edge. We don't know if the monkey intended to smash the glass wall or if it was just playing with its new toy. The monkey is a five-year-old Colombian white-faced capuchin. The video shows the monkey using the stone as a tool to crack the glass, leaving the zoo visitors surprised. The monkey was surprised too because she ran away immediately after the glass shattered. Animal behaviors tried to figure out if the attack was meticulously planned or if it was just by coincidence. It had been nice if we could speak monkey language and get the monkey to give a report of her intentions. The entire incident just goes to show how intelligent animals are. According to the zoo workers, the monkey is special. The capuchin came back to take another look at the mess it made and even touched it. They added that the monkey knew how to use tools to break walnuts while its mates only knew how to bite walnuts. After the incident, the workers picked up the rocks and took away all their weapons. The little monkey was becoming too creative. A bear inspecting a home. Uh, what is happening? A bear in someone's home? Is this a human in the form of a bear? Or what's going on? Imagine checking your surveillance camera and seeing a bear walking around your house. It's unbelievable. The bear wasn't just walking around, it was inspecting, opening doors and everything else. According to YWFF4 News, the incident happened in North Carolina. The bear managed to break into a home and explore it for five hours. Could it be into real estate? Because it wasn't the first time in someone's home, according to the police. It inspected the kitchen, the living room, went up the stairs and even opened the refrigerator. Although it's not absurd for bears to break into residential areas in search of food and shelter, this one is just awkward. Bears are wild animals at the end of the day. One ought to be apprehensive of them. Did you know that the 375-pound bear was roaming around their home while they were sleeping upstairs? Just imagine someone waking up to drink some water. They'd have thought they were sleepwalking when they found a bear in their living room. The story doesn't have a happy ending. Colorado Parks and Wildlife tracked the bear and euthanized it. That's because its regular unexpected visits to houses in the neighborhood were becoming a public threat. It didn't harm anyone, but the locals didn't want to take a risk by letting a dangerous animal wander about town. Someone said the animal was guilty of committing a very serious crime, while others argued whether it was right or wrong to kill the animal. A murmuration of starlings. Starlings are as beautiful as they are creepy. It depends on how far you are from them. The starling family is one of the most diverse and widely distributed families of birds on Earth, with over 123 species. They're so diverse that some species bear no resemblance to others. They live across Asia, Africa, Europe, India, and even the Pacific. Starlings are blackbirds with short tails, pointed bills, and triangular wings. In the winter, they're covered in white spots, and in summer, they turn dark and glossy. Although they're sometimes disliked for their abundance and aggressiveness, they're pretty birds when you look closely at them. For most of the year, starlings can be found in city parks and fields, or wheeling through the sky in noisy zigzag flocks, as we can see in this video. It's a very pretty sight watching the starling murmurations. Murmurations are vast groups of starlings that twist, swirl, and swoop across the sky in beautiful shape-shifting clouds. Scientists have spent years studying them, and they have come up with a few theories regarding why the flocks behave like they do. One view is that the birds are using the behavior to evade predators. When a predator is present, the birds will coordinate their movements in order to make it difficult for the predator to pick out individual birds. One of the best places to watch the murmuration of starlings is in Rome, Italy. Thousands of starlings come to town every year to spend the winter. Huge flocks gather just before sunset, creating a mesmerizing pattern in the sky for up to 30 minutes. A bird riding on other birds' backs. You think you've seen it all, and then boom, the internet shows you something you've never imagined. Since when did birds begin to ride on other birds? Since when did they begin to use another as an airplane? The video shows a bird soaring through the air with another bird firmly perched on its back. As expected, the video quickly went viral. It's fantastic and it stunned many viewers. Although the seagull is carrying a seagull that weighs the same, you can see that it's enjoying the flight. Both birds seemed very elated and were heard cawing as they soared through the sky. Some people say that the phenomenon of a bird using another bird's body as a means of transportation, that is, as an Uber, is known as aerial hitchhiking. 
The smaller bird uses the bigger bird to glide smoothly over treetops. They say it's a common occurrence in the animal kingdom, and different species of birds, animals, and even insects hitch rides on the backs of their family members, helping them conserve energy and travel further distances. This is proof of the beauty and complexity of nature. There's something new to discover every day. It's funny how animals come up with solutions to the challenges they face every day. This one is pretty impressive. We want to ride on the back of a flying bird too. Snake plays dead. This snake deserves an Oscar. Hognose snakes have the incredible ability to play dead. They're a unique species known for their broad, upturned snouts and distinct coloring. But what really sets them apart from other snakes is their uncanny ability to pretend to be dead when they're threatened. When a hognose snake feels threatened by a predator or a perceived threat, it'll writhe and convulse before eventually rolling onto its back and playing dead. The snake will even excrete a foul-smelling musk to convince its predator further that it is indeed dead. This is just astonishing. First, the snake pretends to be dead, knowing no one wants to eat a dead snake. But it doesn't stop there. It has the ability to make itself smell like a dead snake. That's pretty unbelievable. No one's going to want to eat a dead and smelly snake, and the hog nose snake knows precisely how to make itself a dead and stinking one. Why exactly do hog nose snakes play dead? Scientists believe that they've evolved this behavior as an effective defense mechanism for avoiding predation. The snake becomes less appetizing to predators, so they're most likely to leave it alone. The hog nose snake may also play dead to blend effortlessly with its environment. By appearing lifeless, it'll become invisible to predators searching for prey. After a while, when the coast is clear, the snake awakens and continues with its day as though it didn't pull the biggest deceit of the century. An intelligent crow using a stick to pull out the food. We've talked about just how smart crows can be. We've seen a crow getting its food with the help of bricks. Crows demonstrate the ability to reach food in those cannot reach it places. This one here uses a stick instead. It holds the stick in its beak and tries and tries again until it successfully pulls the food closer and eats it. A hard worker will always find their way, wouldn't they? Crows have always been known for being great problem solvers, but this example takes things to a whole new level. The idea that birds use sticks as tools are impressive enough, but the idea that they specifically learn to use them to extract food is truly amazing. This behavior is all the more remarkable because tool use is exceedingly rare in the animal kingdom. Given how little we understand about the animal mind and how many of our assumptions are shaped by the human perspective, this is a wonderful discovery. By studying the amazing ability of animals, like crows, we can make a more complete and complex understanding of the world around us. So the next time you see a crow outside your window or in a nearby park, appreciate the intellectual brilliance of these overlooked creatures. A monkey using a vending machine. Sometimes the monkey wants a snack and a drink. Sometimes the monkey wants a break from bananas, you know. This video of a monkey using a vending machine in Japan went viral on social media, and it's no puzzle trying to understand why. In the video, the monkey approaches the vending machine and then observes it for some seconds. After studying the machine, the monkey selects a drink and inserts a coin into the coin slot. The machine then releases the selected beverage, which the monkey retrieves. It seems like the monkey becomes excited when it gets its drink. It hands it over to the man standing there, probably its owner, to open up the drink. When the drink is returned, the monkey completely uncaps the bottle and begins to gulp down its prize. Researchers have done their research, scientists have done their thing, and they all suggest that the monkey is capable of recognizing the conceptual relationship between currencies and goods and that it's possible that the monkey had watched humans use the vending machine before. The monkey may have been trained to. Anyway, the monkey worked hard for that drink and was able to enjoy it in the end. It's one extra thing to put on his C fee other than climbing trees or eating a bunch of bananas in two minutes. Chimpanzee sharing an apple with a tortoise. This video was posted on Twitter with the caption, Love only grows by sharing, and we couldn't agree more. Watching this video leaves you with a warm and fuzzy feeling inside. A chimpanzee shares its apple with a tortoise. Both of them seem calm in each other's company, and this strange bond has generated a lot of buzz across the internet. Are we the only ones wondering what prompted this act of kindness? Why did this chimpanzee suddenly start feeding the tortoise? 
In this video taken somewhere here in America, we see a chimp offering the apple to the tortoise who tries its best to get a bite. The chimp doesn't give up its food for the tortoise, it only shares it. Some people on social media laughed at the offer because they felt like the tortoise didn't get an actual bite of the apple and the chimp didn't care enough to notice. Whether or not the tortoise got a taste, doesn't the thought count? How many monkeys would do what it did? In fact, how many humans would stop to feed any other person? This was a truly touching moment and it was just perfect that it was caught on camera. It's also an example of how we can all coexist harmoniously regarding of our differences. After all, we're all living beings and we could all use a little bit of kindness in our lives. In the words of Harry Styles, maybe we can find a place to feel good and we can treat people with kindness. Kookaburra in a Hat Seems like our little kookaburra here wasn't ready to become sheriff. The kookaburra is a native bird of Australia known for its signature laugh. This bird is known for its loud and distinct laughing call that can be heard from a far distance. In fact, it's often referred to as the laughing bird. The call of the kookaburra is not only interesting but also serves a practical purpose as it warns other birds of the presence of predators. With its distinctive appearance and unique sound, it's no surprise that it's become a beloved symbol of Australia. The video is sure to leave a smile on your face. The bird sits innocently on the fence in front of the camera until the man behind the camera places a tiny hat on its head. If only the bird could have seen itself in the mirror, it'd have known just how cute it looked. It wouldn't have flown away immediately either. Instead, the bird would have just sat still and posed for a picture or two. Thankfully though, we're able to get a glimpse of the kookaburra in a hat, even if it's for two seconds. We hope that the little hat didn't go missing when it dropped off the head of the bird. Other birds would come by. They may appreciate the small gift better. Most of the commenters kept asking where the man got a hat like that. And honestly, we're wondering too. Skillful orangutan captured wiping face. The orangutan has a skin tear routine. We shouldn't even fuss about it. Orangutans are one of man's closest relatives. They sometimes have trouble coping with the heat just like us. So this particular ape found an inventive way around it. To cool off, it dips a face cloth into a pool of water, wrings it out, then mops its brow. It's no secret that orangutans have an impressive level of intelligence, but this video shows just how resourceful they can be. This orangutan at the Tama Zoo in Tokyo was impressed with himself and pleased with his idea, which he's in no mood to share. A smaller ape comes around and it refuses to hand over the wet towel. It's like, go get your own. When the youngster tries to grab it, it snatches it back. The little ape had no choice but to use its hands to splash water on itself. Well, people don't like to share their flannels either. If you want to do skincare or wipe your face or whatever, go get yours. The video has amazed people all around the world and opened discussions on how intelligent orangutans really are. The activities of the monkey and his jealous pals amazed visitors at the Japanese zoo. And now, they're entertaining animal lovers around the world after becoming a YouTube hit. Many experts have examined this video and explained that the orangutan was exhibiting learned behavior. It's probably seen humans wipe their faces repeatedly. Panda's fake pregnancy. The hog-nosed snake or this panda? We don't know who's more deserving of the Oscar. In 2014, a six-year-old panda named Ai Lin in the Chengdu Panda Breeding Research Center faked her second pregnancy causing a stir in the mind of everyone who heard the news. We see women faking pregnancies in soap operas like Desperate Housewives, but not in a million years would we have imagined that an animal could and would do the same. Eileen knew that pregnant pandas were given extra care. They were kept in a single air-conditioned room, given more food and basically treated like VIPs. Fake it till you make it, right? She faked the pregnancy for months. And during this pregnancy, she was given extra food, attention, and round-the-clock care to ensure that the baby inside her was safe. The workers at the zoo didn't suspect anything because Eileen displayed some behavioral changes like lack of appetite, decreased activity level, heightened hormonal levels, and nesting behavior. How did she fake all these too? The zoo had planned for the first live broadcast of the birth of a panda cub. That's how much they were expecting a child. They later found out it was a phantom pregnancy, a common panda phenomenon in which indicators of pregnancy turn out to be false. So, Eileen got herself all the mother-to-be treatments, she got the extra fruits and bamboos, and tricked the entire world.